welcome back to Rocket Star Race Cars. In this segment, we're going to discuss the similarities and differences between fire suits for racers and spacesuits for astronauts. Astronauts and racers can both experience some really extreme temperatures and scary situations. So, in order to protect them, a specially designed suit like these are created. Since both of these suits need to shield someone from really extreme temperatures and some scary situations, they're actually made from the same material, and it's called Nomex. Nomex is a very flame resistant and strong material. A racer suit is actually flame retardant from about 20 to 40 seconds depending on the suit. Now, some of these suits have a few more layers than others depending on their application. This strong fire retardant material protects astronauts from extreme temperatures in space or situations like a fire. It does the same for racers in case they get in a wreck. An astronaut's launch entry suit, like the one we have right here, can actually withstand temperatures up to about 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, the new suits can withstand even higher temperatures, but this suit was actually used in one of the shuttle missions, so it's a little bit older. So, I got a fun fact for you. The color of this suit is actually international orange. Now, you may ask, like, why international orange? That's kind of random, right? Well. They chose this color because it can be seen in any environment, whether that be a forest, the ocean, or even a desert. A racer may need protection from fire or scary situations, but an astronaut actually needs that extra level of protection depending on where or how they land. Astronauts are equipped with a backpack, a life raft, a parachute, survival gear, and 30 minutes of oxygen. So they're kind of really heavy. Another fun fact for you, so when astronauts hit the water, there's actually a life raft that deploys automatically when it touches the water. Astronaut launch entry suits are equipped with inflatable bladders in the abdomen and in the legs to prevent astronauts from passing out when launching into space or re-entering from orbit. If you are interested in one day creating or designing one of these incredible life-saving suits, there are so many STEM companies that you could get involved with. They are actively trying to improve and innovate them so that one day we can go to Mars. Thanks for hanging. See y'all next time.